Alrighty, I was going to do a do a demo here on Dr. Stifler's CRE. I went back and I'm doing uh, some work with the with the CRE uh, to try to understand uh, electrolysis uh, and learning Faraday calculations and otherwise. And so I uh, went back and built one of these cells. Uh, you can see in the big jar here in the front, uh, and that's an anticipation of running this one that's built in uh, in the water filter with four triode clusters. This one has a has a single triode cluster here, and uh, you'll see in the center uh, the the center electrode. Uh, they're about 100 and 140 millimeters long, 6.8 millimeters around. Uh, that's control uh, cathode. This is the second cathode and that's the anode there uh, and I'm going to fire these up and take a peek at uh, the production of gas off of them and then I'll disconnect the three electrodes uh, as Dr. Stifler does in I believe the first or second CRE video uh, that he has posted and you can see that this is this is actually working as in uh, in CRE mode it's not uh, it, it's not a standard electrolysis cell. So let's put some power to this thing and uh, take a look at, at this thing running. Uh, it doesn't take very long. You see some gas rolling up off of here real shortly. There we go. Uh, once again I apologize for uh, the relatively junky camera. It's just a webcam. Uh, but this makes a pretty decent point of after investing a much better digital video you can see that uh, the evolution of gas is pretty heavy so we'll let this run for just a touch um, the circuit is a TLC555 CMOS Texas Instruments CMOS timer uh, built into a an A stable 50% duty cycle multi vibrator. Actually, I have uh, our oscillator. Actually, I have a uh, I have a potentiometers uh, that allow me to adjust adjust both frequency and duty cycle. So uh, I've been fiddling with that too. And 50% is is what you want. That's driving a pair of IRF 540 CMOS. MOSFETs and there's a tip 31C in for the NPN transistor there. A handful of resistors, couple of resistors, some ceramic caps, uh, a couple electrolytics. I'm using a, uh, a 400 volt, 470 microfarad capacitor uh, for the charge recycling cap. Okay, let's let's go ahead and. Uh, I'm going to disconnect uh, that control element and you'll see the gas stops. And as Dr. Stifler has stated, uh, all three are required for it to, to produce gas. I'm going to reconnect that back up. Now this is venting to uh, just to atmosphere for now, but that one uh, in the water filter won't be. Uh, and I'm waiting on a, actually I'm waiting on a, uh, a pop-off valve to come in to, uh, to get that thing up and running safely. Okay, let's disconnect the other cathode. And the gas slows down and stops. Reconnect. Yeah, I'm side lighting with a with a big old flashlight, so it's clear to see. And we'll disconnect the anode. slows down and stops. Let's plug this back, connect this back up. And there it is. I wish I could get 
this in and get a little better shot for you. Yeah, webcams. What are you going to do? There's some gas rolling up off of that. The control element doesn't have any gas production at all. And the uh, the anode, just a little tiny bit. Alrighty, this is certainly not the last video you'll see uh, as I'm moving forward. Uh, this is definitely in preparation for uh, driving these types of cells with uh, exciters. Uh, I have my own exciter uh, that I'm building now. So um, we're moving forward here in the the, big, the Yankee laboratories, although I moved from upstairs to downstairs and otherwise I pretty much volunteer the house. So uh, to the dismay of my wife. Um, so thanks for watching and uh, we'll be talking to you.